Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shantae and the Pirates of Chris Part 5, and we are now about to enter the dungeon. Yay! Is there going to be spiders there? I'm not saying anything. There's going to be spiders there, isn't there? You give the- you give- so you give this- whatever the hell the thing is on the other side, the, the voice, the shrivel thing, and- Oh, you mean the decapitated head? Yeah. And- and it- it's kind of funny though, it's like, um... It's funny, it's like, it's like, mmm, tastes good, bring more. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't so... ready yet. My, my body wasn't ready yet. <laughs> now I am. Anyway, welcome to Cackle Tower. And you know Man, what place this is already really needs, place? This place really needs some renovations. Shit's just falling apart. Hey, 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 renovations cost a lot, not to mention the, the, um, the land taxes. Well, there's like there's like gems in the candle in the candles and stuff. Can't you just like sell those? No, that's my that's my that's my secret stash, my collection of gems. You see your secret stash of stuff that's out in the open. Anyway, the, the death animation yeah. of, these, of these enemies <laughs> in this game is actually ridiculously dramatic. Look at this thing; it turns into a tomb and then explodes into bones. What's the point in that? You gotta make sure these guys have a proper burial, you know. A burial so they can explode? <laughs> you don't want them to become ghosts, do you? Guys, <laughs> remember, this thing is dead. Deader than dead. <laughs> if you want to say how dead it is, what would it be? I find it weird that the old man's just everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he's there in spirit. So he's dead? Oh. Um, like, well, what I imagine is just you know, multiple you, old men, and they're like, well, every once in a while they have a meeting, like, oh, where should we go next? <laughs> Wherever Shantae is going, that's where we go. I love the death animation of these things, they just, they're so overdramatic. <laughs> uh, uh, only, um, what are those skeleton enemies that Zelda called again? Uh, um, the, the... Jeez, uh, what we, are we were, fighting now? They were just on the top of my head, Some weird... They're not Stalfos, are they? No, um, shit. But no, no, it is Stolfos. There's Stolfos oh, and there's... Yeah, if, and only there's... St if only Stolfos had this dramatic. I mean, yeah, they explode, but they don't explode like this. <laughs> we fighting Common Rider now? Yep, and uh, went down just as easily as Common Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's a weird zombie bat lady thing <laughs> that, throws a, that throws a friggin' like, mace at you. Oh, okay, by the way, so it's a Common Rider way, villain. By the way, she's pathetically easy in the original Shantae. All you do, you hit her, she jumps over you. You hit her, she jump, she jumps over you. Repeat, rinse and repeat. So least, Mega Man Six Syndrome. Yeah. At least, at least, at least she actually uh, tries to get away from you and hit you with the mace. Okay, Which, so instead of barrels, we have these abominations. Yeah, and doesn't you haven't seen the last? Though. They're kind of they're kind of out of place in many other areas. <laughs> By the way, Jerome, I want to commend you on getting onto that first platform on your first try, because if that was me, I would have jumped, hesitated, went backwards, and fell to my death. The, the sense of the, the amount of control you get on this in, in this game, I'm actually not that afraid of platforming. Because it's so easy, like, if you feel like you, you feel like if you haven't done the jump right, you can easily go right back, and you haven't really got any penal- you don't really get penalized for it. Because there's no- there's, there's not that much weight to Shantae. <laughs> so she's floaty. Uh... Yes and no. I'm not, what, I, what I mean is like not like not like not like super Metroid floaty, but like floaty enough to where you feel in control, but heavy enough to you know where she's got weight. Yeah, yeah like like another like I mean I mean in terms of like horizontal like horizontal movement. Speaking like, uh, of uh, super Metroid control, what do you got? What do you guys think like is the best controlling Metroid? Still Super Metroid. Uh, I say two, zero for, mission. Yeah, for, for I was gonna, anyway. I was gonna say zero mission. Nah, I still like the way I prefer the way Super Metroid controls. Oh, well, by the way, they release really, out. They released Zero Mission at, uh, on on uh, Wii U, finally. Yeah, it took them long enough. It's, in my opinion, the best, like, 2D Metroid. I really I it. still I still say Super is better, but... I, I think I might re-record Zero Mission, because I feel bad at how that playthrough went. <laughs> what was wrong with it? It wasn't 100%, and I said I was going to try and 100%. How many percent did you get? Remember, remember I think it was 98 Got ninety eight. <laughs> oh, did you did you miss like one of yes, the super hard shine spark things? I, I forgot one super missile. Okay, to be to be fair, Drew, I can't give you shit for that because I finished. I like, the first time I ever played Super Metroid, I finished with ninety seven percent. Wait, I, the first time I played Super Metroid, I finished with like seventy percent. 
you clearly weren't trying. You clearly weren't looking hard enough. Well, to be fair, like I, I was like I was like just power at bomb, that time. just power bomb everything. <laughs> okay, this heart squid on my first playthrough drive me nuts because <laughs> I didn't know this is how you're supposed to get it. I, I was thinking maybe it was the puzzle in, in the upper area of this room, but it pissed me off when I figured it out. Well, that uh, that that to be fair, you you there's like no indication that you can go in there. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you might look in the the way how the how the how the ground was because it kind of looked like a bit of a pillar. I don't know. Maybe you know what you guys are probably right. No one would probably think of that. By the way, this is like my this room is like Mighty Switch uh, Mighty Switch Force personified. It's a prototype for Mighty Switch Force, you might say, or was Mighty okay, Switch Force or, out at this time? I Mighty Switch Force was out before. Oh, okay. So. Or Bramble Blast. Or Bramble Blast. Yeah. I don't even know what Bramble Blast is. DKC. Or DKC two, I should say. Oh, okay, that that mission. Oh, there we go. At least, at least, at least, unlike Primal Blast, was place was covering complete spikes. Yeah. Although there's a segment of that kind of this, the segment similar to that later on. And again, Wait, another. How do you guys me remember like the names of so many like levels? Like I have a really weird memory where I can't remember the names of like. Well, specific levels. Well, it's either Bramble Blast or Sticker Brush Symphony, which is the song that um. That that's everyone, the name of the song. That's yeah. the name of the song. Wasn't that song changed or something? Like the name? Uh, I've heard people say Sticker Bush or Sticker Brush Symphony. I I I just say Sticker Bush because that makes more sense. Again, to I me. Well, again, I only remember that segment because because of that song. So. Yeah. It's, it's it has to be something memorable, obviously. I'm gonna remember that song. So I mean, wait, is it mini boss time right now? Kinda, yeah. Um, what is that? An exploding plant. Yeah. And those are are some... you not familiar? No. You always gotta have that dungeon slime in me. You know, I, I, I'm not. I've never really seen a plant that exploded on its own. Well, you clearly haven't been playing enough video games, my friend. And now we got Risky's hat. I could you return think... it to her. Or you, I could sell this for some sweet cash. Or, you think she'd have? You think she'd have more than one of those? Or it could be, or it could be the one of the best, one of the best upgrades you get in the game. Well, it allows it, you to glide. Yeah, it gives you so much air time, especially the beginning. And and then you know, combine that with with uh, Shantae's awesome you know air control. It, it's beautiful. Do you get a double jump later on? Yes, actually, triple jump. Alright, that, oh. that makes this sound really good, then. Seriously, I love it when platform gives you triple jumps, because it just makes everything so much f more fluid. Like, like a set. double jump on its own is really good, but a triple jump, that's... Yeah, but a triple jump is just icing on the cake. Yeah. I, I love the hat so much. Like, I will st I'll still say it again. Like, I still think Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is the best Shantae game when it comes to upgrades. Cause you can just do stuff like that. Like, there's so many. Tri you could just do it on the fly. Like, if that wasn't like not 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 to shit on the other Shantae games, cause they're they're great in their own right. But like, just say just like it, for comparison, if this was like the original or Risky's Revenge, you'd have to stop, then do a transformation just to do what Jerome just did in like a click of a button. Like I said, like I said, that's that's one of the great things I love about the games because every all the upgrades you get are done on a whim. Like you can activate them on a whim. You don't need to like stop and do something just to you know just to make use out of it. You know. Wait, are there transformations in this game? No. No. Oh. Because at this point, because in this game, remember, she's lost her genie powers. Alright. Yeah, so she has to rely on these, uh, these nifty upgrades she gets in the dungeons to actually uh, progress. So would you say, um, she's better without, like, her genie powers? Yeah. Uh, honestly, yes. <laughs> this one I managed to figure out on my own. <laughs> well, th th this one's a bit more obvious because the platform's there for you to crouch, so... Can you go up there, like, no, into the roof? No, it's just a piece of the ceiling fell off. Oh. Yeah, there's nothing up there. There we go. Secret room for a key. It's kind of strange, though, how there's a second delay before you actually pick up the key. Uh, okay, now I think I need to go back to the bottom for one segment. No wait, no. Well, actually, there's one more. Uh, there's one more. There it is. So wait, what are those things? 
Um, the second, the secondary, um, secondary thing about the uh, hat. By the way, there's no fall damage, so you can just fall away to the bottom. So what I just did there was just for fun. You just did that to be stylish. Yes. Um. Yeah. The, the second thing about the hat is whenever, whenever there's updrafts, um, you can take advantage of it to float off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you uh, jump down? Uh, some platforms let you do it. Not all of them. Like those oh, ones. So that's so selective when it comes to that. Yeah. So those. So those platforms I could. Well, I mean, those parts I couldn't, but um, there's certain other platforms that I can. These things are fucking Wait, weird. They drop so skulls. <laughs> uh, the remains of their meal, I guess? Oh, yeah, that room isn't fucking ominous. <laughs> ominous. <laughs> ominous. Omni Omni's a TV channel. <laughs> Jerome confirmed <laughs> working for Omni. <laughs> <laughs> Jerome, when did you sell out? <laughs> At least it's not Fox News. Up. Okay, it's kind of hard to be worse than that. <laughs> Up we go. Oy. God damn it, who called the police? <laughs> Guess the cops are coming for Shantae. <laughs> She's too high from the castle now. Well, I mean, she she did steal the hat. And she also did, like, get a guy's decapitated head. Hey, man. No, that was given to her. <laughs> Hey man, that's my hat. Give it back. I think it's possible to get these guys stuck in one area, or I think it might be in the, I think it might be a, I think of another round enemy. But if you manage to get this to overlap each other, you can just kill them all both at once. Ah, there we go. That ah, oh, she missed. For some reason, she doesn't know how to, you know, strike downwards. <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Striking down is hard these days. There we go. Kill them both. Only well, Flink knew how to use a ball of chain like this. Oh god, they're everywhere. Now you really do need Link's spin attack. By the way, you ever gonna make use of those pike balls? Yes. Bitch. What is a pike ball, really? It's just you'll, a spiked ball. You'll see in the next half of the, of the dungeon. 